Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. Where in this video, we're going to talk about import versus require with Node. So both require and import are used to work with Node modules. And a Node module is simply a piece of reusable JavaScript code. This JavaScript code can consist of one or more files. There are three types of Node modules. There are core Node modules, which are built into Node, like the FS or HTTP module. There are third-party modules, which are available for installation with NPM, and these are installed under the node modules folder. And then there are local node modules, which are created locally on the user's machine. And node modules are used to break up code into separate functional parts, making the development and debugging process quicker and easier. And this is because each module has its own private scope. If modules didn't exist, then the global namespace of a node program would be shared, leading to lots of overwritten code. And now, node modules have different formatting systems, or module formatting systems. This means that there are different syntaxes used to work with node modules. One of these systems is CommonJS, which uses require and module.exports, and the other is ECMA script, which uses import and export. CommonJS is the default module formatting system for node, meaning that by default, node uses require to work with modules. And we can demonstrate this by working with the FS library. So if we just say, if we require file system library, and then let's just write to a file synchronously. Let's just say hello. To run this, all we need to do is just run the file and we get this printed out here. So what this shows is we can work with the FS module using common JS or require right out of the box. There's no need to do any kind of installation or configuring um, or anything of that sort. However, we cannot work with ECMA script right out of the box. So if we change this require here to ECMA script with import, which it actually says we can do right here. Now, if we run this code, oh, if we run this code, sorry, get rid of that end tag, we will get an error saying cannot use import statement outside a module. To use the import keyword, we have to inform Node that this is a module. And one way to do this is to initialize the current folder as an NPM project and specify it as a module. We can do this with the command npm init es6-y. And what this does is create a package.json file right here, which specifies the project name, version, description, entry point. But the key that's very important to us here is this one, type as module. So this type key here tells Node what module system the project is using. Currently, the values can be either module, it could be either module or common JS. So we can see these two right here. If we use module, the Node will enable ECMA script module system, which allows us to use import. If we use, say, CommonJS, the node will stick to the default CommonJS module system using the require keyword. So now let's, uh, let's leave this as module. And if we now run our project, we can see it runs without any errors. And so we can also work with the import keyword without altering this package.json file by setting our node file to a .mjs extension and do this as opposed to the standard .js extension. So if we create a file called index.mjs and then bring in this code over here and let's change this type to common js if we run our index.js file now we'll get a syntax error but if we run index.mjs everything works fine and so a .mjs file is the recommended file extension for ecma script modules besides that it's essentially just a javascript file or a .js file and there's also a .cjs extension that tells Node it uses the common JS module system, which uses require. So now let's create an index.cjs. Let's add this stuff in here. And if we run node index.cjs, we get cannot use import statement outside of a module because the cjs is common JS, which is expecting the require or common JS syntax. And now another difference between require and import is that require is a function while import is a keyword. In fact, because require is a function, it can be called anywhere throughout the file, even in block statements. So if we create a small conditional, let's do go back in here, and we say, if wit code is cool, then require the FS module, then this should work. And we can see require called inside a block. So when this code is ran, the FS module will only be loaded if the check passes. So if this check passes, then we will load the FS module. And a downside to this, or the downside to require being a function, is that it can sometimes be hard to determine what the dependencies of a module really are without running the code. And on the other hand, 
the import statement cannot be used inside blocks. This is because modules loaded with import are ran before a module's code is imported. So if we change this to import fs from fs here, we can see the error has to be used at the top level of module, which basically means in the outermost scope, or not within any blocks. So we could put it either at the top of the page or we could put it down here. And so another difference between require and import is that require is dynamic while import is static. And what this means is that the import loads modules when the program is starting up or during load time. And as a result, any import statements are hoisted to the top of the file, which is why we can write it down here. Alternatively, require loads a module when the program is running or during runtime. And this is why we can load modules with require conditionally, like we did inside here. However, ECMA script does provide a dynamic version of import, meaning it can be used inside block statements. And the dynamic version of import is a function that returns the module wrapped in a promise. So what we can do here is use the import keyword or as a function here. And if we require FS, then it resolves to the module because it wraps it in a promise. And then we can do write file sync. Let's do cheese.txt. Cheese is good. Now, if we run this, we're calling it import dynamically, and you can see it wrote to the file. So with import, with the import statement, we can still import files dynamically. I believe if the dot catch is called, that would be because the file wouldn't be found or the module could not be found. But so this is my video on require versus import. If you have any questions, leave in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.